move. So WordPress is one of the most popular tools out there to build a website. And AWS is one of the most po popular cloud computing platforms right now. And it's constantly growing. <laughs> But so I just figured I'd kind of bring those two together and make this tutorial on how to create, um, how to launch a WordPress website um, using AWS, um, specifically the AWS service, Amazon Light Cell. So here's the tutorial and let's go over this tutorial a little bit. You can see it takes like 10 minutes, free tier. Um, Light Cell is a computing service within AWS. Um, the inner level, last updated, which was just last year. And um, I just gone through this tutorial and it's pretty spot on to the interface, which is good because that's not always the case. But let's go ahead and get started. So um, we're going to, is this free tier eligible? I'm going to go, I already have an account. So what we're going to do, so you do need to have this stuff. You need to have an AWS account. I already got it, so I'm going to bypass that. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and right click and open link in a new window. And it's going to take me to the light cell interface. Now, my personal preference on when I'm working on one computer, which I am right now, is to have the different windows. Okay, some people like to have different tabs. I like to have different windows and just hit, um, let me close something out here real quick. And just basically do it as you see me doing right now. I just kind of hit Alt Tab, then it takes me to different windows. I'm trying to clear them up my space a little bit. And I'll keep that open. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm in Light Cell. So all I did again was, um, let's go ahead and recap on that. Okay, right click on this, open link in a new window. Again, that's my personal preference. Okay, so we're in Light Cell. And again, Light Cell is one of the computing services offered within AWS. And it, it does, uh, it's a virtual server, storage, database, and networking. And it's cost effective and has a monthly plan. And you'll see what that monthly plan is in a little bit. And so we got this. On the Instances tab of the Light Cell homepage, we're going to click Create Instance. So Instance is just basically computing power. It's a virtual computer within the AWS servers. And we're going to click Create Instance. So we're creating in the instance and the Ohio Zone A, which is fine. Um, let's see. You can change it based off where your location is, like Virginia. Uh, most new services within AWS come out of Virginia. Start with the um, Virginia region first, which is US East 1. Um, but depending on your location, you know, select the one that's closest to you. Um, if I was doing a new service, a, a fairly new service being launched by AWS, I would stick with Virginia. But because I'm in Ohio and this is not necessarily a new service and I feel and I believe it's you know, properly supported here in Ohio, in the U.S. East 2 region, I'll just go ahead and leave it at U.S. East 2, which is Ohio. So um, I can change the availability zone if I like, but I'm not. I mean, it's fine right where it's at. I can choose between Linux and Unix. I want to leave it at Linux and Unix. And just basically it's a Windows platform or a Linux based platform. Um, let's see. And we're going to choose WordPress. So we're going to go ahead and select that. That was our default selected because that's the first one. You see there's other options depending on what you're wanting to do. And let's go ahead and let's follow the instructions. So boom, 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 boom. Okay, past that. Um, let's see, Linux, Unix, WordPress, choose the instance plan. Okay. So you can see instance plans first month is free. It's $3 and 50 cents a month. Um, it's 512 megabytes, one virtual CPU, um, 20 gigabytes of SSD, solid state storage, one terabyte of, um, transfer. So it just depends on what you need, uh, for the website, for the, yeah, for the WordPress website we're building on this tutorial this is just fine um, we don't really need anything beyond that um let's see let's see what else do we got to do um enter a name for your instance so we can you know name it i'm going to name this one let's see let's name it 10 wow properties 
if we had some key tag to key value tags if we want to add we could um let's see we can do name and that would be um can well property key only hold on okay i did the wrong thing sorry key value tags that's what i want name and well properties okay just to have something there create instance um there's some guidelines on the naming as you can see right there and let's see connect to your instance through ssh and get the password for your wordpress website so it talks about how the default password that we use to sign into our WordPress website um, is sign it. You'll see it here in just a second. Um, complete the following steps. Connect to your instance using the browser-based SSH client in the Line Cell console. Okay, so in the instances tab, okay, that's still pending. Give that okay, now it's running, so we're able to move on. So on the instances tab. Let's go ahead and select this right here, and that launches up that console. Again, this is Linux based. Oh, why is it doing that? I don't know why it's doing that. Make sure I didn't miss a step. Hmm. Okay, it says that the instance has just started up. Give it a minute or so to try. I want to pause this while it's giving it a minute or so. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Let's try it now. Okay, login failed. Try it again. Let's pause this. Pause. It looks like I can't pause it right now, so you just have to bear with me on that. There we go. Okay. So this is again, this is Linux based. Um, this is the console. So what we need to do next is go back to the instructions. We can just copy this. And we are going to this is Linux based, so control V does not work on this does if you're I think on Windows on this you have to do right click and paste hit enter and you see this right here this is the password we're going to need for WordPress so select that right click copy and that's what I used before let's go ahead and paste this new one in there oops there we go okay and so we're going to be using that password when we log into WordPress here shortly da -da 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 Boom, boom. So in your browser, we're going to copy this and control C, open up a new tab, control V. And if I hit enter, um, you'll see how it also says in this address, replace the public IP address with the public IP address of your WordPress instance. And that can be found here back in light. So this is our public IP. Control C to copy that and format oh, right here. And I'm just going to replace where it says this right here. Control V to put the IP address, and it's going to take me to the admin law. It's going to take me to the login. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, get to the right spot. So log into your instance and the username or email address. We're going to hit enter. Shoot, sorry user and the password is going to be what we copied and pasted here earlier control c control v hit and you can see it's the password hit enter or login rather it's going to take you to the dashboard so this is I'm not going to remember this one um so this is wordpress your wordpress website is up and atom so to speak um 
this is the dashboard. This is all the files to get into WordPress, WordPress instance. Let me put it that way. Your word, your website's not up and Adam, but let's see what happens if we hit visit site, open link in a new tab. Oh, okay. It is, it is fully functional. So this is, if you know, you have an IP address, which is a longer, harder way to remember what a website address is, a domain name. We'll talk about domain name in here in just a second. Um, this website is up and at them. Okay, so da 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 da. Signed in, WordPress site. Okay, let's see. Create a light cell static IP address and attach it to your WordPress instance. So the default public IP for your WordPress instance changes if you stop and start the instance. But a static IP will always be the same, meaning this will always be 31392332227 instead of changing if we make it a static IP address. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go back to light cell, going to think network. Boom, 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 boom. So we choose that. Yes, that's right. So this is the only one I have here. If I had more, I would make sure this is selected. Networking, static IP. This is one I created earlier. I want to go ahead and delete that one just to keep it clean. Da, da, da. Okay, so this is what we would do next. Again, that, that one you just saw me delete was from a previous um, practice run. It has nothing to do with what we're going over now. But um, as per the instructions, um, go to networking tab, create static IP, create static IP, and select the IP, I'm sorry, da, da, da. the static IP location and attached instance are pre-selected based on the instance that you chose earlier in this tutorial. So that's what we chose earlier. So you can see it's a WordPress instance and the name we used was Pinwell Properties. Identify your static IP. So let's go ahead and give it a name. And let's see, our only free while attached to an instance, okay? And can create, I believe, yes. Okay, some names, okay, so it's already been taken. Let's go ahead and put a one in that. There we go. So we got an IP address. So the static IP is available for public connection worldwide. So let's see what would happen if we copy and paste this. Okay, so again, hello world. And let's see, open up this here again. I hit refresh. I've not stopped and started, restarted my instance. So this probably will stay the same if I had to guess. But whenever we do stop and start our instance for whatever reason, this IP address will always be the same. Okay, where am I at now? Boom, 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 boom. Create a light cell DNS zone and map a domain to your WordPress instance. So domain name, a domain is like what you would see on the top. So a domain for this one right here is amazon.com there's the main top level domain. Um, so those are, as an example of a domain, just whatever you see up here, just the longer stuff right here, it just indicates kind of like what files you are in within the specific domain. But this generally makes up the domain, okay, in this general area right here. Um, let's see. So for example, um, I'm gonna go to bitsandbits.org, which is a website that I have. This is the domain, okay? Pretty Nerdy Social Media, it's another website that I have. This is the domain, okay? If I go to something here, go to a particular tab, um, or button rather, um, you can see it's adding something because that's specific page within the website, okay? But ultimately, this part right here is the domain. And domain names are um, handled and monitored or managed rather by domain domain name service. Get back in here, not that one, not that one. Let's get out of this. Um, domain name service, um, which is like of somewhere. There's a big old list of domain names, and everyone has to be unique. 
Um, let's see. So we can transfer management of your domain's DNS records to LightCell. So basically that means if you already bought a domain name from Google or oh shoot, GoDaddy or wherever, you can transfer it to LightCell. This allows you to easily map a domain to your WordPress instance and manage more of your website's resources. So we're going to go through this process and we are actually going to explore um, Amazon's uh, DNS service. It's called Route 53 a little bit. Okay. So complete the following steps on the networking. Okay, let's see. Let's go back to home. Make sure that's the one we're working in. It's the only one. Hit networking. Create DNS zone. Okay, so now um, enter the domain you've already registered. We don't have a registered domain name for this um, for this tutorial that we're doing. So we're going to explore Route 53 a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and click on that little pop out arrow. I think we're kind of diverting. Yes, we are diverting from this a little bit because kind of going forth, it kind of assumes that there's a domain name that you've already registered. So this is the, let's go ahead and expand this. You can see we're in the Route 53 um, dashboard, which is um, again, AWS's um, domain name service. So it's been a while since I've been on this. So let's see how rough I am at this. So enter a domain name. So let's say Penwell Properties. Let's see if that's available. So if I hit check. So availability for penwellproperties.com, it's not available. Okay. And there's a couple different ways that I can do this. I can do drop down here, .com, .net, .org. And these are month or not monthly, but annual cost for it. Um, there's different top level domains depending on location, geographic location, and what kind of organization you are, and the whole bunch of other stuff. So, you know, there's some for consulting. It's $12. Let's see, what do I want in here? Let's see what .org. .org is $12. .org looks good. Let's go ahead and hit check. And pinwellproperties.org is available $12 at the cart. So this is going to give me that domain. It's going to be mine for a year, uh, you know, for at least one year. I want to make sure I have it longer than $60, but that's fine. Okay. And hit continue. Now this is where I'm kind of rusty on. So just bear with me. And I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing. Um, you're watching me kind of struggle with this. So it's a person. Let's see. Asha Penwell organization. Uh, let's go ahead and do Tasha M. Penwell at gmail. Female.com. My number is 40645-0509. I'm not really showing you any information that you can't figure out if there's enough Google search. I'm not terribly concerned about blurring stuff off right now. Okay, hit continue. You can see it's pretty self-explanatory on that. Skip email verification. You may have trouble receiving a verification email from us. If your email is correct, you can proceed with domain registration and wait for the email later. But eventually, sometime I'm going to I am going going to have to verify it. So I understand that. Uh, let's see. So it talks a little bit more about Route 53. I'm not going to spend too much time focusing on this unless I get stuck on something. Do I want to renew it? Not really. Let's just kind of see how things go over the next year. Yeah, I read it. Um, skip verification for now. Okay complete order. Okay. I've already got payments set up with, um, uh, it looks like AWS credits got AWS credits too, which evidently don't apply to this, but um, I already have a payment set, um, system set up with, Oh shoot, AWS. So it should just be on that bill. And then let's see, hit close. Go to domains. Okay. It looks like, 
registration is in progress. Let's see what it lets me do now. So that's the domain name. Let's put it in here. Nothing should happen with it. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, now let's see. Well, let me continue on. And obviously, this is not something that I can do re repetitiously a lot. Be then I would have like a bunch of domain names, and I don't really want a bunch of domain names. I already got more than I probably should. Okay, identify your DNS zone. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's uh, kind of see what the instructions tell me to do. Make note of the name server. Okay, yeah, that's what we want. Okay, DNS. Okay, we got some name servers. Um, boom, 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 boom. After management of your domain's DNS um, records are transferred to light, so add an A record to the point of the apex of your domain to your WordPress instance. Okay, say that again. After management of your domain's DNS are transferred to light, so make no, okay, you can add these name server. Okay, sorry, gotta reread this stuff. Make note of the name server. Okay, we other saw. You add these name server addresses to your domain name registrar. Domain names registrar, which is Route 53, which is what we just did. And, um, okay. After the management, okay. So let's see if we can figure that out. Let's see, domain. Okay. Let's see if it gives me instructions because I'm kind of struggling. I'm on the struggle bus right now. Let's see, pending. Okay. I may need to wait. Yeah. Okay. So the domain name registration is in progress. You can add these names to the name server addresses. So I'm looking for the name server addresses. What? I'm sorry. I'm looking for the DN. You can add these server name addresses to your domain names registrar to transfer management. Okay. So I need to find the registrar on this. And I wonder if this needs to happen first. So we may not, this might be, they might need to be a part two on this. Might have to kind of hold off from here. Um, let's kind of see what else it takes us into. I do think that we do need a part two, unfortunately. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this. I want to pause this and see if that confirmation email will help. Okay, I went to the email. Uh, verified it. Let's see if that will kind of get us going now. So let's go back in here, refresh it. Okay, this may still take some time. Okay, so I want to go ahead and call it on this video and um, there, um, there'll have to be a part two, I'm sorry, on how to do this. Okay, stay tuned.